Yeah, you know, uh, it feels like a, a good battle in the end and, and a point on the road. What did you make of that? Uh, it was brutal. Um, they're so good at what they do. Um, I knew it. We prepped for it yesterday. We worked really hard at it. But dealing with it is something different. And first half, we didn't. Um, their intensity, their running, their, their you know individual battles, I think we lost most of them. You know, the goal was poor, free, free header, but a, a, a player more aggressive than us in the box. Um, and we had to ride our luck at times. Um, we made a change at half-time, tactically, changed shape, changed personnel, and more than anything, challenged the boys. I, I hope what I said hurt them, because it wasn't a shouting match, it was just a, a bit of a challenge to them. And I thought second half they came out and had a right go, miles better. Um, still rode our luck at times, Booty's made a couple of great saves, but it's a difficult place to come. You've sort of summed it up there, but sort of how disappointed were you with the first half, but then on the flip side, how pleased were you with the, the response in the second half? Yeah. Um, <laughs> like I say, everything that happened in the first half, I worked on yesterday. I, we, me and Quinny always do our homework. We watch the opposition. We try and work out what sort of game it's going to be. Try and get the lads prepped so that you know when the game starts, the first 25 minutes, half hour, they're not surprised by what happens. They're ready for it. But it's very, very difficult as a manager and coach when the opposition are winning battles, individual battles, and running hard, and we're not solving the problems or winning the battles, you know, fighting to win the battles. And that's what I saw in the first half. Um, and we deserve to be behind. Um, so I challenged them and I changed the shape and it worked and we were miles better second half and uh, you know in the end we dug in for a, a tough away point. What was the thinking behind that change of shape because obviously it gave us more width it, it seemed and then you know that, that plays dividends at the start of the second half when Donovan goes down the right the cross falls out to us and he, he produces a, a fantastic mm. strike. Is that yeah um, I think the thing is when you you know, they're a 3 5 2, we were 4 4 2, 4 2 3 1, whatever you want to call it. Um, and your overloads in that system should be your fullback or your wide players. And if you're not getting your fullbacks and your wide players in the game to hurt them, then something's wrong. It can feel like the opposition have got a player or two more than you. And that was the issue. So at that point, you know, you might as well look at the shape and say, well, why don't we match up? Why don't we um, have more support to Becky, have Josh Kelly playing up top with Becky, having Joe Sabara running from deep um, and bring Ozzy on because, you know, it's nothing against Cal Maycock, but, you know, Ozzy's just has got the ability to be able to slow the game down and drive from midfield, which we need. And I thought him and Wheelow second half were excellent. It was a terrific goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great goal. As soon as it dropped, their, their manager said goal. Um, and, uh, yeah... I was hoping he was right, but um, yeah, it was a great goal and it was a great start of the second half. Um, you know, if I have a slight criticism, too many, they're a big, powerful team and they enter your box loads with the long throw and the set pieces and we knew we had to stand up to it. If I'm critical, too many first headers probably lost in that, that box um, that's resulted. But on the flip side, even though we lost a few headers, we did lay our bodies on the line and get a lot of blocks in and Booty's made one or two great saves. And you have to do that away from home against the team in the playoffs. You mentioned Booty, he deserves a, a great deal of credit, doesn't he, for some of those saves, particularly from those corner yeah. and free kick situations. Yeah, 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 you know, it's good for him, good for his confidence because... Uh, you know, we've gone from Dagenham where he hasn't had a lot to do and then two worldies have gone in um, to uh, a game like today where he's had a little bit more to do. But, uh, you know, it's a good point. Uh, it's only a good point if we can go and get a result on Saturday um, and we need to just keep chipping away, keep believing, um, trying to spark off some sort of unbeaten run. But it has to start somewhere and hopefully today can be it. But uh, Saturday's now very important. Yeah, I was going to say it's an important game, isn't it, against a, a good side, albeit not in the best form, but nothing to say for granted. No, 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 no. Um, we need to turn our home form around last season. Our home form was you know, outstanding this season. We've we've just lost our way a bit at home and, and um, we've been better away from home lately. So we need to try and turn that around. Um, this was always a tough run. Dagenham away, Bournemouth away, York away, Chesterfield at home, you know, and going to Halifax away. So this was a really tough run and we need to keep digging in and try and get some results.